It may or may not be a good idea to strap yourself in because we're going from zero to 100. Coming to you live, 15 minutes post nap, I'm still very much experiencing a little bit of PNS right now post-nap syndrome. I may or may not have overslept. I have to be at a restaurant at 6 p.m. It's currently like 5 p.m. around, and so I have an hour to do my makeup, my hair, and put on an outfit and get out the door. I mean, do you see the current state that I'm in right now? I hate to be self-deprecating, but this is not hot right now. <laughs> I'm also feeling very lazy right now, which kind of works because since I don't really have a ton of time to get ready, I can't really do like a super extravagant makeup look, but I want my makeup look to still have some impact because this is going to be a holiday dinner. So I wanna, you know, look good and glam. Also, a portion of today's video is in partnership with By Terry, which is awesome. And I'm gonna be using their Brightening CC Serum. This stuff is a lifesaver, especially when you wanna kind of give your skin that glowy type of look. This is going Going to give it to you so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use that today so yeah I hope you guys are gonna enjoy watching me frantically get ready don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already let's get started because I don't have a lot of time <laughs> so this look is going to be completely focused on the skin and on the lips so I really want to make sure that my skin is really nicely perfected I'm gonna be going for kind of like a bronzed glowy natural but still covered look. So I'm going to first start off using my Albert oils. This is the oil that I like to use before almost every single makeup application, especially in the winter time with my skin feeling as dry as it does. This is a lifesaver and it just makes everything apply so nicely. So I'm just going to push the oil into my skin. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of an eye cream. So this is my fresh rose hydrating eye gel. My under eyes are looking a little bit puffy. So I'm really going to take just like a minute here to just massage this area like right underneath my eyes and to hopefully try and depuff a little bit. If I had more time, I would get out some cold spoons, but I just don't. I almost fell asleep there. So now for my base, I'm gonna be taking my By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is the Radiance Elixir in the shade Sunny Flash. So since there has been quite a significant amount of time since my body or face has seen the sun, I am looking pretty pale. And it's not even that I care to look pale because being pale is totally fine. It's more so that I feel like my skin looks pretty dull. So because of that, I do like to apply Radiance primers underneath my foundation to kind of fake the glow that I don't naturally have right now. So this Brightening CC Serum from By Terry really does the trick. This does come in four different shades. This is the deepest shade that it comes in. I really wanted to use the more bronzy shade because I do want to give my skin a little bit of that like bronzy glow for underneath my foundation. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and make sure it's evenly blended throughout my entire face. Now what I really like about this particular illuminating primer is that it's not too crazy intense. A lot of illuminating primers are almost more like highlighters, so they'll make your skin look a little bit too reflective. This one, however, is really nice and subtle. So because it's not super intense, it's not going to accentuate any texture on your skin, and it's just going to leave a really nice kind of subtle color and subtle glow. I also find that this product evens out the skin tone a little bit. You can see my skin just looks a little bit less red and not as like blotchy. That just means that I'm actually able to apply a lot less foundation on top of this so it just creates more of like a lightweight finish in the end so now for my foundation I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer natural skin perfector um, I really want a tinted moisturizer not really like a full-on foundation because I don't want my skin to be too heavy um, I want it to still look really nice and fresh so I'm just taking a little bit and just buff that out see what that gives me and then just build up pretty much where I need it I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. This is my Laura Mercier uh, Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I'm just gonna apply a very small amount of this, just kind of like right in the hollows of my, of my under eyes to try and hide those dark circles. Also right on the inner corner of the eye. I'm also gonna kind of bring it down over here because for some reason I always get red right in that area. And I kind of also wanna brighten up here. And I have a little pimple there that I want to cover up. To blend that out, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender because this is a pretty thick concealer and I don't want it to look heavy. So the Beauty Blender is going to help keep it looking nice and lightweight. Look at how nicely that just brightened up my inner corner. 
For my powder, I do kind of want to lock down the center of my face. I'm going to be taking my RCMA No Color Powder, an oldie but a goodie. Going to grab that on my Beauty Blender as well. I'm going to not really bake, but kind of bake. We're half baking. Just going to sweep a little bit of that right there underneath my eyes. Bring it up on the side of my nose to do a kind of like a reverse contouring. So as you can see, I'm not really highlighting with more concealer in the center of my face. I'm just using a powder to slightly bake to brighten up those areas. So I'm not piling on like too much product. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds and then I'm gonna wipe that off. So I'm just gonna wait here for a sec and just sweep off any excess powder. And I'm taking whatever excess powders on my brush and sweeping that on my lid as well because we aren't really going to be applying any eyeshadow. We're just applying like one very simple product. So I want to make sure that my lids, you know, are still looking clean and set. Since we did apply a little bit of concealer there, that bit of powder is also going to help keep it crease free. So now we're going to work on the face. I'm going to be using my current favorite bronzer. This is my Vesca Kissed by Santorini bronzer. Such a beautiful product. It goes on so smoothly. It makes you look so naturally sun-kissed and bronze, which is what I'm looking for today. And I really want to look pretty bronze today. Like, that's my goal. So I'm not going to be shy with this stuff. I'm really going to go a little bit crazy. Just going to apply a little bit of this on my cheekbone area, my temples. So now for my blush, I'm going to be using a liquid. This is the M Cosmetics Color Blush Drop Serum. And this one is in the shade Soft Amethyst. This is going to go really, really well with the lip that I'm going to pair with this look. And what I really like about these M Cosmetics blushes is that even though this looks like a pretty intense color, you can sheer them out to kind of just look like a nice touch of color on the cheek so that it's not going to be too crazy intense. So I'm pretty much just going to be taking a little bit of the product, tapping it right on the side of my cheek and because this is such a dark color I don't really want to blend it out with my finger I want it to look still really nice and seamless so I'm taking the butt of my beauty blender and I'm blending it out that way especially if I'm doing a really really minimal look um, meaning there's only going to be color on my lips and not on my eyes I like to go a little bit heavier on the cheeks with my with my blush especially Feel like you can get away with it a little bit more. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be using my Elia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in Nova. Pinpoint that right at the tops of my cheekbones. And this gives like the most amazing wet skin look. For my brows, I just got them done. I got them threaded and I got them tinted, so it pretty much looks like my brows are already filled in, which honestly I feel blessed because of that, because doing my brows is one of my least favorite things to do. So I'm just gonna go in with a clear brow gel. This is just my hourglass brow gel. It's just what I have right next to me. I'm just gonna brush all of the little hairs upwards to give myself a nice fluffy brow look. Before I do my lip or mascara, I'm gonna just spray my face with a little bit of a mist. This is my Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. One of my new favorite products to spray on my face after I do my makeup because it really just makes my skin look so hydrated. I'm gonna give my skin a healthy dose of that. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be applying one product, actually two if you include mascara. So for the eyeshadow part, I'm gonna be taking this By Terry Ombre Black Star Eyeshadow Pencil in Blonde Opal. This is a really, really pretty kind of just champagne glowy color. And I'm just going to put this on a few different areas of my eye to really make my eyes kind of look like they're glowing. So I'm first going to put it on the inner corner. I really love cream eyeshadows like this also because they're just so easy to just quickly apply. I'm going to put that on the brow bone. This color in particular gives such a reflective, reflective look to the skin. I mean, look at that. <laughs> It's really gorgeous. I'm also gonna put some right in the center of my lid. And I'm also gonna put it right in the center of my lower lash line. So this is the simplest thing that you could possibly do as an eyeshadow look. It takes maybe three seconds just to kind of pop on and blend out with your finger. And even though it's quick and it's easy and it's really not much, it still gives such an impact to the eye. I feel like it kind of makes the eye just glow a little bit and it just creates more of like a finished look. And it's also different from just applying, you know, like a shimmery shade all over the lid. 
Putting it only in the center of the lid is going to give a little bit of a different effect that I think is just really fresh looking. So now that that's applied, all we have left to do is just to do the mascara. Um, because we are just doing mascara, I am going to make sure to curl my lashes so that my lashes look as, you know, good as possible. For my mascara, I'm gonna go in with one of my old favorites, my Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. It's really, really good for very intense lashes. You know, normally when I do these types of looks, I only apply mascara on my upper lashes, but today I think I'm gonna build up quite a bit of mascara on my lower lashes, but I'm gonna use a different mascara for that. For my lower lashes, I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Caution because this is a very, very waterproof and long wearing mascara on me. Um, and for my lower lashes, I wanna make sure that whatever I apply doesn't move throughout the night. I don't want raccoon eyes. And I'm kind of applying a super thin coat of the Hourglass Caution on top of the Stila Huge to try and make that mascara a little bit more long wearing as well. Sometimes I like to do that and it works. Okay, I did kind of get mascara everywhere, so I gotta let that dry. Um, and then once that's dry, I'll scrape it off. So just try and pretend that that's not there. All it's left to do for this incredibly simple look is the lip. The lip is the star of the show. It's really what's going to get the most attention. So I am going to be using this gorgeous, gorgeous, deep, dark, reddish purple from Bobbi Brown. This is the Crushed Liquid Lip in the shade Cool Beats. I'm a really big fan of this formula as well. It is fairly long wearing. This is not a typical liquid lipstick. This doesn't dry matte at all. It actually is quite shiny. What's really nice about this is that it doesn't dry out the lips at all. And when it does actually fade away, it just leaves a nice stain on the lips. So you're never gonna be left without color. And they're also not finicky at all to reapply. They don't like, get all gross if you layer it over the night. Because this is such a dark color, I am gonna be lining my lips. This is MAC Night Moth. Not only just to get a really crisp line, but it's also going to prevent it from feathering or traveling, and it's going to create more of a long wearing base for the lipstick to sit on. Just like you would prime your face, it's good to prime your lips as well. I'm also gonna color in my lips completely with the liner. Now I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Liquid Lip. Some may say, I'm living on the edge wearing this color to a dinner, and I would agree with you. But honestly, because I don't go out too, too often, and because I work from home, whenever I get a chance to like go out on the town, I like to take full advantage, and that means maybe a bold lip, maybe a smoky eye, maybe both. Tonight, it's just the bold lip. Makeup look is done. I'm now gonna go ahead and just do my hair, get changed, and I'll come back to show you guys the final look. So here's the final look. I decided to go for very like Steve Jobs chic, you know, um, with the black turtleneck. I feel like that really gives off that vibe. I also really wanted to wear this headband because all of a sudden I'm really into headbands. And I also felt like it really complemented the lip and kind of brought everything together. All right, guys, that's it for the finished look. We finished this in record timing. It's now time for me to go to my family dinner. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. Give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one.